In this video I'm going to show you how to play the guitar part from the acoustic version of the song Something Human by Muse. Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. I'm a musician with decades of experience in performing, writing and recording music. This channel is dedicated to helping the 21st century musician. If you're new here then please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that button just below the video player. You can buy the Muse album from the links in the description below where you can also see and buy any of the equipment that I use to make my videos. Something human then. Now this song is not easy so when you're learning it take it slowly. Practice at half speed or even slower before you gradually increase the speed up to the full tempo. We begin with an A chord shape around about the 5th fret, but also using the open A string. So we've got open A string, then 7 on the D string, 6 on the G string, and we bar frets 5 on the B and E string. So all together we have this. And we start by plucking the A string and the high E strings using the thumb and 3rd uh, finger. Then we play the A string with the thumb, then the first finger G string, then the A thumb again, then B string with the second finger, and then G string with the first finger. So put that all together, it's like this. Now remember that pattern, that right hand picking pattern. Thumb and third finger, thumb, first finger, thumb, second finger, first finger. So we're going to use that a lot throughout this song. So we play that one time, then we play almost the same again, but this time on the left hand we're just going to use our pinky to play fret 7 on the G string. So instead of that we've got that, and that turns the chord from an A chord into an A sus4. So using exactly the same right hand finger pattern we get this. And then putting those two together, we play the A shape followed by the A sus4 shape three times, like this. Now the singing starts halfway through the second A sus4, indicating the start of the first verse. Then we play the A shape again but this time we're going to move chord shape. The easiest way to do this next chord shape is to make a C sharp minor bar chord shape at the fourth fret but add in the low E string at the fourth fret as well. So we've got that. So what we've got there is I'm barring all the strings with my first finger of the left hand at fret 4. I'm playing frets 6 on the D and G strings and fret 5 on the B string. It's that chord. Now we're going to play exactly the same right hand picking pattern that we were using before but this time the thumb is playing the low E string instead of the A string. So it goes like this. Then we're going to move uh, down again, we're going to move to an F sharp minor bar chord at the second fret. So this is the, uh, the standard e, uh, e minor bar shape, but it's fret 2, so it's an F sharp minor chord. We're going to uh, bar all the strings with the first finger at fret 2, and then we play frets 4 on the A and D strings. And we're going to play exactly the same right hand picking pattern again, like this. We do that for one bar, then we use the second finger on the left hand to play fret 3 on the B string. And this adds the fourth into the chord. And we play exactly the same picking pattern again with the thumb on the low E string. So we have this. Then we move back to the F sharp uh, again, without the fourth, for one bar. And then we're going to move to a standard A chord shape, so that's fret uh, 2 on the D, G and B strings. 
playing the same right hand picking pattern again, but we're going to play the low E string with the thumb. So that goes like this. So if I put that little section together, what we have is this. I'll play it slowly. After that, we're going to play a standard D chord shape, so that's uh, two on the G string, three on the B string, two on the high E string. The right hand picking pattern here is we pluck the A string with the thumb, high E string with the third finger, and then we play D string thumb, G string first finger, D string thumb, B string third finger, G string first finger. Now it might be easiest if I just play that very slowly and show you what I mean. So it's like this. We play that one two times. Then we move to a standard E chord shape. So that's uh, two fret two on the A and D strings and one on the G string. Same right hand picking pattern as we're very familiar with now with the thumb on the low E string. So like this. And we play that two times through as I just did then. Then we're going to play the F sharp minor again, followed by the F sharp minor with the fourth added, and then back to the F sharp minor again. And then we finish with the E chord pattern. So that's like this. And that is the whole main first verse guitar part. Now I'll play through everything we have so far for you slowly. Then, after that, we're going to play almost that whole thing again, but instead of playing that end uh, F sharp minor, F sharp with the fourth, F sharp minor E, we're going to go back to the A position at the fifth fret that we started at. And we're going to play that A, A sus4, A pattern, and end with plucking the uh, A string and the high E string, like that. So I'll just demonstrate that for you slowly. That's the first verse. We're now into the little pre-chorus bit. This starts on an F sharp minor bar chord at the ninth fret. We bar the top five strings with the first finger at fret nine. We play frets 11 on the D and G string and 10 on the B string. And then the high E string, we just let the first finger bar take care of that one. We're going to play the same picking pattern we're very used to by now, um, with the thumb picking the A string, first and second fingers on the B and G strings, and third finger on the E string. So like this. We play that one time, then we're going to play a slightly unusual E chord. We're going to play open low E string and frets nine on the G and B strings, and seven on the high E string. So we get that all together. Using the same right hand picking pattern, we've got this. Then we go to a D shape, which is the open D string, 11 on the G string, and 10 on the B and E strings. Again, the same right hand picking pattern, but with the thumb picking the open D string, like this. 
We play that one two times. Then we move to an A shape, which is open A string, nine on the G string, 10 on the B string, nine on the high E string. Again, same right hand picking pattern, thumb on the A string. And we play that one one time. Then it's back to the E shape we played, which we play two times. So that is the whole pre-chorus so far. If I play that through for you very slowly, it goes like this. So that pre-chorus pattern, that whole thing is played two times and then we are into the chorus. Now the chorus starts with the F sharp minor pattern that we played at the second fret. We've already played this and we play that one time like this. Then the E pattern in root position that we've already played in the verse, we play that one time as well like this. And then it uh, does something that we've not done yet. We're going to play the open A string and two on the B string together, then four on the A string and five on the B string together. So that goes like this. And then we're going to move to the D pattern we play, played in the pre-chorus up at the 10th fret. So that's the one that's up here. And we play that two times. Then we do that whole thing again. That is the whole chorus and we're into the second verse. I'll put that whole chorus together for you slowly. So, we're in the second verse now. Now this is like the first verse, but instead of picking the strings with our fingers, we're going to strum the chords. Now I think Matt Bellamy switches to using a plectrum, a pick here. You can strum with your fingers if you want, that will sound absolutely fine, but I'm going to use a plectrum. If it's good enough for Matt Bellamy, it's good enough for me. We strum the chords in this sort of a rhythm. And we're going to strum those first verse chords. Let's just go through them just to remind ourselves. So we've got that A position there, then the A sus4, so we have the pinky in. And then it's going to be that C sharp minor with the G sharp in the bass. So uh, extend the bar onto that low E, yeah, onto that low E string. Then it's the F sharp minor, and then we add the fourth, back to F sharp minor. And then the A chord with the E in the bass and then D, E, and then the F sharp minor, F sharp minor with the fourth added, F sharp minor, E. So if I play that through slowly, it should sound something like this. remember back to the first verse, uh, the first verse repeat, repeated the first half of uh, the verse with a, the ending being just slightly different. So instead of going down to that uh, F sharp minor, F sharp minor with the fourth, F sharp minor E, it went here and it stayed on that A, which is exactly what we're going to do in this verse. Um, but of course we're strumming the chords now rather than picking them. So that second verse ends like this. Now we're into the second pre-chorus, which is uh, very similar chords to the first pre-chorus, but we're strumming them now. So like this, so we've got that F sharp minor chord. So this time when we play that e next E chord, we're going to play a standard E bar chord on the middle four strings at the seventh fret. 
And the D chord that we're going to go to then, high up the neck, is the same as we were playing before. Use that's adding in the open D string there. And the A chord is like the very first chord we played at the beginning of the song. And then the next E chord is that same standard E bar shape at fret 7. We play that chord progression two times and that's the whole second pre-chorus, so I'll play that through for you now. to the second chorus which is very similar to the picked first chorus we're just strumming chords so we start with F sharp minor uh, standard bar chord shape at the second fret standard E chord root position standard A chord root position then we're going to move up to an A chord which is the standard bar chord at the fifth fret but we're not going to play all the notes we're just going to play the middle strings so like this and then we're going to go up to that high D chord and we play that through two times we then finish the chorus with a root position E chord then turn it into an E sus4 by moving that first finger on the G string up one fret to fret 2 and then back to E again so that whole chorus goes like this Then we have a little breakdown bit where we're back to finger picking again. And that starts with this uh, F sharp minor shape. What we're going to do here is we're going to use the right hand thumb on the low E string, first finger D string, and third and fourth fingers together on the B and E strings. Then the first finger D string again. So that's like this. Then we play a standard E chord shape uh, in root position using exactly the same right hand picking pattern. So then we play uh, what we played before when we played open A string and uh, fret two on the B string together. And then four on the A string, five on the B string together. Then we're going to go up to that high D chord and we're going to slowly strum the strings in that chord with the thumb. And we do that whole thing two times for the breakdown. So if I play that through for you slowly, it's like this. into a little instrumental bit um, and the guitar in that bit is exactly the same as the second half of the second verse. The song finishes with the breakdown bit again exactly the same as before and that's followed by the final chord of the song which is the A chord at the fifth fret slowly strummed like this. And believe it or not that is it that is the whole song. What I'm going to do now is do a full playthrough of the whole song, but I'm going to play it a little bit slower than it is on the track uh, to give you something to practice against as you're building your speed up.
question of the day. The versions of the songs on the deluxe edition of Simulation Theory, are there any on there that you prefer to the other versions? Uh, the acoustic version of Propaganda, this acoustic version of Something Human, um, and probably the Void and the Gospel version of Dig Down all fall into that category for me. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Keep making music, and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.